Interesting. And I mean, uh, if you look at the, the run of losses for Renegades and the, the teams that Dream Eaters have been beating, I think it's hard to actually pick Renegades for this, as weird as that sounds. It's up to them to show us otherwise. Yeah, it's, it's one of those weird ones, statistically. Um, if you look at the... We see that Renegades are making mistakes when we get to the mid-run and, and late-round, when there's when they're not able to you know execute their plan. There's mistakes to be made. And here's a quick B-rush, so... So this is going to be interesting to see if Dream Eaters can hold this one straight out. As Fiat gets three, and Sp oh my God, they're all—they've all just been annihilated. So there was some huge grenade damage in that round. <laughs> they were stuck in a choke point. They were brutalized. They were victimized. The YouTube MIBR setup. Crad having a look. That's a nice pre fire from Jacob. Not quite hitting the mark, but Liat certainly will. And Crad is stuck now. The Lurk from Azza in mid, I think, was supposed to try and pull the CTs out of position on the A bomb side, but Krad is still alive. He doesn't have support in terms of personnel. I don't know if the flashbangs will get there in time. Fiat maybe needs to throw one over the roof, but Krad will die on his sword, and that leaves Fiat one versus two. He has position now, creating some space with a grenade. Could be lurking behind it. He has, has no idea. Is he brave enough to push CT? He knows that this could be a distraction. He could push CT and just walk towards the B bomb side at so much time. <laughs> that would be such a play. Looking to actually just go for the A plant instead, keep it simple. And Sviat just playing it really safe. The whole situation's been reset. And now we get to see some interesting stuff. Lias, it once again, could push all the way around CT. And that might actually be the... There is the flank. And there is the bomb. Oh, Where no. are the remaining two players? It's coming out of the Palace position. JKS will be taken out, but in the meantime, we've got another rotation. Not one, but two CTs in T spawn. The bomb is just around the corner, enough to potentially be rescued. Liaz is creeping. Forrester is going to get taken out. Speedax left him alone to pick up the bomb. No trades for the T's, and this might be the end of the road. This would be the weirdest clutch, but surely it's going to be a two-man peak. There it is. Renegades take the first map, 16 to 10 over Dream Eaters. Yeah, it looked a little bit shaky here or there for Renegades, but I think overall we... New commentary challenge, Dan. Let's do it. <laughs> well, headshots have been deployed, and uh, we can see that four players have been taken out for three meters, and Sviat is the only man standing. Uh, I've seen that. I can't do it. <laughs> so Renegades will pick up, or looking like they're going to pick up their first pistol round in this series. Sviat is in <laughs> trouble, that is for sure. So we'll have to see if they can get this kill or if Sviat will actually be able to earn some money. Because that is you know, one of the things you might want to play for in this position. He's not, uh, he's not saving any Kevlar, so making money from this is perhaps the best case scenario. Although look at this setup of Renegades just chilling. Now if he's running in this position and someone's in hell, they can actually hear him. So it's, uh, yeah, they kind of just know what's going on in Renegades. There's nothing, there's no fanciness that can be done here. Just got to run out and get a headshot. He will be denied, of course, and... 1-0 will be the case for Renegades. And this should be a walk in the park. As, you know, we've, This is how we set it up. I think this, there's so much evidence to... ...area, but it was still, you know, it's fine. Oh, that was an opportunity there. JKS, <laughs> you can see he was sort of looking for a peek as well, but he'll fall at that hurdle. Got his faction. Next up, stepping up to the plate, or perhaps Liaz. They go for a double peek. There you go, Liaz. He knocks it out of the park. Crowd's head will be rolling around on the floor. Now as it is just up to both of those Ivy players, and they'll be handled by Kinky. So one player will die, and that is Crad, and that's an acceptable loss. So everything going. Have to try and force the players into the hands of Speedak, and it'll work. And instantly, we've got a three-man burst from that IV position. They're looking for target Speedax. His scope will obscure his position. Sviat jumps up, gets taken out. We've still got Kinky by that level. Oh, never mind. He's going to get absolutely deleted. Grenade in his hands. Nothing going in the way of Dream Eaters at the moment. Two versus four, fighting for their lives. This round is surely over. I say that, but Forrester is in the ladder room. Do they risk everything? Maybe they feel like they have to do something. Crowd has spotted Liaz, who has a look. It'll cost him. They need more, though. Forrester trying to use this distraction. Surely the T's are too well positioned. Indeed, they are. Crowd's got to hold on to this AWP now. He's by Old Bomb, but it's time to move away. And they know as well. They're going to go for this kill. They've got so much money at their disposal. They know that they have their opponent on the ropes. There's a spray around the corner from Jkem, and he's going to take out that AWP. A bomb site. We have a two-man push of the main position, but Forrester, he's got to deliver here. 
Ooh, can't get it done. Headshot from Gratisfaction with the AWP, and that will trigger the push as Krad tries to defend here, forced back by the utility usage of the Renegade side, but they're eliminating Dream Eaters one by one. Their dreams here at the Major might come to a conclusion as it's just Kinky left on the rotation. Azza shoots him in the face. One bullet's all that's required to eject Dream Eaters.